Now we want to help you save some money on that honeymoon, and the stress of planning the wedding is finally over, so we got to focus on that part of it. Jeanette Pavini's here, and she's got some better ways to save on that romantic getaway. Average honeymoons are running more than $3,000 for a one-week stay. Now you can cut the cost, and here's how. Destination weddings are more and more popular. You invite your guests to an exotic place for the wedding, and often the hotel where you hold the ceremony will let you stay for free during your honeymoon. And bridal registries aren't just for towels and dishes anymore. Sites are now dedicated to travel gifts, where you can give someone a night in the hotel or dinner for two, and hotel chains are also joining in offering honeymoon registries. Now, other ways to cut honeymoon costs, ask for newlywed upgrades and discounts. Be flexible about travel times and consider airline package deals or all-inclusive resorts. Make sure you consider everything you'll want to do on your honeymoon. Adding additional activities like scuba diving or day trips can add hundreds of dollars to the price tag. Buying the tickets in advance with online promotions might be a good deal, but make sure you watch out for restrictions. Now, all the best ways to save money on travel work with a honeymoon. Even if you get married on a Saturday, you may want to wait until midweek to travel. It can save you hundreds of dollars on a primo honeymoon. Thank you, Jeanette. And Monday, Jeanette's going to show us how to gear the kids up for summer playtime without spending a fortune.